The famous fast food chain McDonald's hasn't made it to this country yet. But what is this country? Cambodia. 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 So there is no McDonald's in Cambodia, but what they do have is something similar called Lucky Burger. And as you can see, it's basically the same vibe as McDonald's. The seating, mm -hmm. even the yellow color, the screens to order, it could pretty much be McDonald's. So let's see what's in the menu. Very similar to McDonald's, yes. but it, still not Even McDonald's. the burger picture. Yeah, Whoa. it looks like a cheeseburger. Yeah. Hmm. It's good, but not quite McDonald's. Cambodia is a country located in Southeast Asia, bordered by Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam. It has a population of over 16 million people. Cambodia has a rich and complex history that dates back to the ancient Khmer Empire, which built the iconic Angkor Wat temple complex. So why there is no McDonald's? Let's go right back. Cambodia to Mutu's history has left a lasting impact on these people and infrastructure. All over Cambodia you can find many incomplete and abandoned buildings and a lot of them look extremely old. The reason for that, during 75 to 79, the country was in regime that was the best in the country. So the country was in war for four years and more than two million people died. Right now the country is still recovering from the war. And around the country, you can see many buildings like this one because the country continues to cover. Here is another example. As you can see, the building is abandoned, it's incomplete. And you can see buildings like that around the city, and so common to see. Another one there, and another one there. The Khmer Rouge regime, which ruled the country from 1975 to 1979, left a devastating legacy that has taken decades to recover from. Cambodia's infrastructure is underdeveloped, which has led to limitations on economic growth. The country lacks adequate roads, bridges, and transportation systems, making it difficult for businesses to operate efficiently. This has also resulted in higher transportation costs for goods and services, making it less competitive in the global market. Market. Despite Cambodia's rich agricultural resource, the price of fruits and groceries in supermarkets can be high due to the inefficient production, distribution, and storage process. The country relies on imports due to challenge in cultivating certain crops and high tariffs and transport costs also contribute to this price. However, the Cambodian government is actively investing in and modernizing its agricultural sector promoting local food production and introducing the new farming techniques. The scars of war are still visible in Cambodia, but the country has come a long way since then. Its people are resilient and working tirelessly to rebuild their nation. The absence of McDonald's in Cambodia isn't just about food. It's about the unique challenges of economical factors such as high taxes and for the simple reason that Cambodia might simply not want a McDonald's here. Have you ever eaten at McDonald's? No. No? no. I don't know. No. They don't have McDonald's. Cambodia today is one of the very few countries in the world with a predominant young population residing from the devastating impact of the Khmer Rouge regime. However, this could be a game changer for Cambodia's future as they have a huge pool of young talent ready to contribute to the growing economy. And if you think that's fascinating, Wait until we hear about the strange phenomenon newborn bonifiscas believed to be reincarnated victims of the regime. Don't miss out on the chance to uncover more mysteries of the world. Join us as we dive deep into the complexities and wonders of our planet. If you learned something new here, please like and subscribe. Well, this is promising. We hunted down a big mac. Let's see if it lives up to its name. Whoa, it's literally a Big Mac. All it's missing is a McDonald's ketchup.